Oh, hi. I'm Luke the Kook, and this is WASDFM. I know I'm supposed to be in the back rooms right now if you listen to my weekend music show, but I've been given a chance to make a video discussing the upcoming Silent Hill games. What do we got anyway? Silent Hill 2 Remake, Silent Hill F, Silent Hill Ascension, Silent Hill Annihilation, Silent Hill Town Hall Meeting, Silent Hill Electric Boogaloo, finally my personal favorite, Silent Hill, this time it's Pyramid. I'm going to start with Silent Hill F because, frankly, that's the game I'm looking forward to the most. I could make a couple of videos on the Silent Hill 2 remake, and I just might. The other ones I haven't seen enough of to form any kind of opinion yet, so I'll just be focusing on two of the games. I can't find confirmed platforms that Silent Hill F will be released on as of right now, so I'm thinking Silent Hill 2 remake is much further along in development and will be releasing sooner. Considering the amount of footage we got of the upcoming remake, I think we saw more in that trailer than we did for the Resident Evil 4 trailer. Silent Hill F, we might have just seen a singular cutscene. I theorize, anyway. And if you don't think a story was told in that singular cutscene, then... What am I doing? Insulting your intelligence? Of course you did. No dialogue at all. It was entirely a visual story. What did it tell? First shots establish an eerie silence, an abandoned atmosphere. It's a village that should be bustling, but is, at the moment, desolate. A close-up on a single geisha doll to convey the loneliness, as if the scarecrow in the first shot didn't already establish that for us. It also gives us a sense of cultural differences in this Silent Hill story. We pan downward, following a tree, until we have a girl in the frame. Finally! A human! She is alone, of course, in case you didn't already get a sense of abandonment from the first few shots. She's staring down at a memorial site or some sort of grave covered in bright pink and red flowers. You know, actually, that might not be a grave at all. That just, that just might be a spot where there's a lot of pink and red flowers. She wanders through the desolate town in a trance as we see roots growing in unconventional areas at an alarming rate. And these are matching the color of the flowers that we had just seen. The little girl is just taking her melee weapon out for a walk. Uh, boy, she's such a drag when she gets moody like this. The weeds continue to grow, overtaking the town, and the girl snaps out of her trance when they start taking hold of her and damaging her flesh. We get the idea that she doesn't make it out of there okay, and the next shot pretty much confirms that. Not only that... But we get the idea that the rest of the town may have suffered a similar fate as we see floating limbs creep into the frame and more of the same weeds pushing their way through flesh in a way very reminiscent to Junji Ito's artwork. The girl we were just introduced to seconds ago faces us with a tear streaming down her face just before her face peels off, revealing nothing inside that we would expect to see inside of a face. What makes this a Silent Hill game? I have no idea. I didn't get one Silent Hill vibe from this whole teaser. It does intrigue me, though. I'm also loving how some people just prefer to be credited as their AOL emails. In fairness, I have no idea who these people are. I get the sense that Kira has no interest in that shift key. I thought Masahiro Ito was doing the creature design in this one, as it's clearly the same game we've seen those leaked pictures of. The colors match. I may do a separate video on Silent Hill F a little later to give some more thoughts on it, if I have any more left. We got a sense of the threat, and uh, it doesn't look like the same fog from the Silent Hill that we know, which is a trademark of that universe. We don't really see any enemies in that world. Uh, I'm not sure if we actually did see our main protagonist. It just, you know, it doesn't look like Silent Hill at all. It actually looks more like The Last of Us, or if someone made a game adaptation out of Dean Koontz's The Taking, which is a really good book, by the way, and I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorites. It also takes place in 1960s Japan, which is before the events of Alyssa and Silent Hill 1. Granted, the OG cult could have a Tokyo headquarters and are wrecking havoc on tiny towns in the Orient long before their American branch ever got started, Still, it's a little weird to me because Silent Hill was always about a town somewhere in the northeast part of the states. Does this Japanese village have a name that translates into Silent Hill? 
Is this a Silent Hill multiverse? I guess we'll find out more later on. And I may have to revisit this topic more than once. Silent Hill 2's remake trailer gave me mixed feelings, personally. It didn't start with a somber man walking into a rest stop like a like a zombie in some sort of trance. It started with a rather desperate and panicked man having a meltdown and trying to calm himself down. Some of the dialogue seems to be unchanged so far, at least what we've seen in the trailer. So, are we still going to hear Angela say, LOST, again? This town is full of monsters. How can you sit there and eat pizza? This is a trailer that shows probably more than it should have, albeit entirely cutscenes of what we remember from the original game, and behold, it's a bit of a Silent Hill 2 reunion, at least for the behind-the-scenes crew, as Masahiro Ito and Akira Yamoka, y y y Yamoka, y y Yamo whatever, return to their respective roles. Even though this is being developed by Bloober Team, Bloober Boober. Don't tell me you didn't notice that red pyramid thing right away, James. And I thought I lacked observational skills. By the way, the Blue Velvet homage is back in the remake. And speaking of movies, I am such a fan of Silent Hill 2's story that if any Silent Hill should be adapted into a movie, it should be Silent Hill 2. As long as we get someone like, I don't know, David Lynch taking the director's helm. He would never do a video game adaptation. There's no way. You'd have to uh, trick him into it. <laughs> hey, Mr. Lynch, we got this totally original script about a horny guy that kills his wife with a pillow, but uh, we're not supposed to find that out until the end. We're willing to allow you to take some liberties with it, of course, and total creative control over the sound design. You know, do what you're good at. Only in my dreams. Only in my dreams. But in my dreams, the greatest Silent Hill and David Lynch movie of all time exists. In my restless dreams. Konami shows off their impressive facial animations as we see a big frowny James fondling a noose and considering hanging out for That's a while as we here. listen to the same speech that he gave to Pyramid Head. We also see a bit of rage from James. Not very subtle. I liked the James that was defeated and heartbroken to the point where he just came off as an old dog waiting to be put down. I may have a take on that in a separate video later on. To the people saying Silent Hill 2 is a PlayStation 5 exclusive, it's not. You can wishlist it now on Steam. I'm surprised Xbox isn't getting any love, but hey, that's what Xbox gets for buying Bethesda and a ton of other companies. PlayStation has to respond somehow. I'm just surprised with Konami willing to release on so few platforms. I thought they liked money. Isn't that the reason why they made those pachinko machines in the first place? Ah, uh, they're probably still making a ton of money from those gambling machines. I can see Pyramid Head at the slots right now, just pulling that lever until he gets his payday. I can't wait to play the remake. I'm looking forward to immersing myself in this world again. We don't have a release date yet, and that's okay. I'm going to tide myself over with some Gungrave gore and then Resident Evil 4 in the meantime. Expect me to make some more content about what we just witnessed from Silent Hill Transmission in the coming days. I'm Luke the Kook, and I'm out of here.